firm believer that nothing is ever lost. Everybody had to submit to the world event that has been. The incredible learning curve, but also the vision for the festival is carrying forward where the blue teapot produces a live one in the future. I think we'd like to. I think we want to do it for about four years because we're recovering from the first almost one. But our Dutch partners, Theatre Barber from Rotterdam, have basically picked up the torch and are going to produce a digital Crossing the Line festival. And of course, our, our body of works is going to go into that programming. And it's great. I think always within Crossing the Line as a partnership was the idea that we'd have a festival that moves between partners' jurisdictions. So it's like, if you like, a travelling festival. It's always Crossing the Line festival, but different partners will host it. <laughs> In the autumn, travel permitting, safety permitting, the French, Polish and the Irish are all going to head off to Inishir and develop a piece of new work and see what comes from it. You just don't know what's going to come back, you don't know what's going to be left behind and what's gone forever. But this bit has presented itself, so yep, we're off out, out into the bay. <laughs>